Hello again. Today I'm going to show you how I made these wheels for my new belt sander. I needed them to have a small diameter, so I decided to use aluminum pipes rather than wood. This is the design of the belt sander I've been working on over the last few days. Here you can see where I will put the wheels. This is the system that will tighten the sanding belt and adjust its position, which I will also build in this video. I'll need some bearings, aluminum and steel pipes, and a threaded rod. First, I'll cut all the necessary materials, leaving two extra millimeters with a metal cutting saw. Now I place a template on the sanding disc table that will allow me to cut the pieces to the exact length perfectly straight. I make sure all the pieces are straight and cut to the correct length, otherwise the wheels might not work correctly. The steel pipe will function as buffer between the bearings like this, and at the same time the bearing must fit into the aluminum pipe. This aluminum pipe has a diameter of 30 mm with a 2 mm wall, which means its inside diameter is 26 mm, same as the bearing. But these pipes are often a few tenths of a millimeter thicker, so the bearing doesn't fit. I'll sand it with a Dremel to make it fit and so that we can lock it inside the pipe. We do this little by little, making sure at the end that there's half a millimeter sticking out more or less. Now I will mount the wheel with all its parts. It's best to use locking nuts, we shouldn't tighten them too much to avoid straining the bearings. Now I'll cut all the necessary parts for the belt tightening system. I stick the printable template on the board and make holes with a column drill. I'll also machine all the rebates for the adjustment of the wheel itself. The wheel fits like this. I've machined the rebate for the threaded rod which measures 2 mm less than the rod itself, and now I'll sand the rod to make it flat so that it fits into the piece and this way it won't turn. Make a groove in the threaded rod with an angle grinder and cut open a washer to put it in. It will serve as stop to prevent the wheel from moving. At this point, I can put the tensioner together. With this bit of aluminum, I'll make the wheel adjuster. We could also use an L-shaped aluminum piece. I put it in place with a couple of screws, and here you can see how it works. This will allow me to move the sanding belt up or down. On the bottom, I'll insert this wood screw that will protect the plywood, also giving me an additional setting for the wheel and its lower part by tightening or loosening the wood screw. In a few days, I'll upload another video where I'll show you how I build the belt sander. See you soon!